Good Rav Sayanagi. And I want to show some things to do Good Meet Rav Sayanagi here. First of all, I'm a righty, and I'm going to use a right meter of saying nine. So I'm going to hold left. I'm going to hold left hand on the lapel, right hand on the sleeve. Everybody see this here? Okay. All right. So when I do this, what I want to do, he thinks that I'm holding lefty, I'm a lefty. And a lot of people use this. It's just very, very effective to give you hip cuts. Thank you very much. All right. So I've got this here. Now, my left hand guys, whether you come over the top or underneath, I like to get the inside grip because you can control. And this, this left hand, can everybody see this? Let me move around. See this left hand here? That's the anchor. That's, you know, we talk about the anchor hand a lot. That means that's anchored on here. It's like dropping an anchor in the harbor. Okay, and there it is. I've got a lock on there, and he's, he's hooked on there. But it's also, uh, you know, again, we always call it the short grip because there's a shorter distance between his shoulder and mine if I grab that here, right? There's a longer grip there. So I want the short grip here because I want to control the shoulder. That's the thing here. Now I'm holding my left grip here, and you know, and again, we were doing a movement pattern and stuff. You could do that, but right now, let's get the basics of it, then you put it together in a movement pattern. Let's just learn the you know stationary first. All right, what I want to do, I want to pop him up. I'm holding left, okay? Now I'm gonna pop left hand here and just kind of take him off balance. It's just a quick pop, okay? I don't need to really make a big deal of it. He's, he's thinking I might pop here and I might be coming with some other attack like this, okay? All right, now, a lot of times to set him up with gripping and stuff here, okay, if my left, if I have every intention of using a right knee drop Sayanagi with a left hand grip, look at which foot is leading. My right foot, isn't it? So it's opposite. I didn't step like this to get a feet sweep up my swoosh, there I go, you don't want that. So when I'm gripping here and stuff like that, there I am there, so you know, set that up, okay? Now, I'm actually leading with my right hip, but he doesn't realize it because he's thinking about this. Okay, that's, that's the setup here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a quick pop, it's just a little pop in the direction I wanna take it, okay? All right, so I pop, and I wanna do that, make a fist with the right hand, and you know how we lock this in place, fist straight up, elbow straight down, and suck it in tight, okay? I don't wanna jack him up, I'm gonna roll him with a little corkscrew under the guy, okay? All right, so pop here, and when I come in, when I come into the same now, you everybody see this, I'll spin it on the other way too now. Pop them here, here like this, spin under, okay? Now we all know a lot of you guys are good at knee drop say so we're going to practice that again here. All right, so I'm going to pop it, pop here, step in, and just hook and watch my corkscrew in. Now new guys, you're going to drop on one knee, then the other, and have your knees pointing to the left and butt to the right. So the brand new guys in the room, start with that so you don't have to, I don't want you to fall down too soon. We want to actually have you rotate completely under him, so you throw him over your body and onto his back, okay? It's not a flop down on you. You don't want to flop down, it's not a flop and drop. Okay, what we don't want to do is this, but I'm in trouble. All, all my kinetic energy goes down to the ground. I wasted it, okay? And I'll hurt my knees, and I'm in a really bad position because I didn't turn all the way in the throat and get the throat, okay? So, I'm leading here. Pop, say Nike, come in, and when I come in, like this, my knees are to the left, my butt's to the right, okay? What I'm actually doing, see how, much, see how deep I am? See how his feet are straddling my hips out here? I'm under, I'm ready to throw him. It's hard not to throw him from this position. And it's not that I, widen my legs, he goes right in between where my thighs are and he forces my feet wider. It's like going bowling and a bowling ball knocks the pins apart. There are the pins and I'm bowling ball. I'm kind of shaped like a bowling ball these days. So. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we here, pop, come in, see how deep that is. And now I'm ready to go. Now when I throw, I don't curl up. In wrestling you want to do that because you, want, you don't want to get a slam against you, right? You know, high school wrestling. Our game, we want to slam them. Can you do on somebody? <laughs> you know, let's slam them. Get let's us slam them. <laughs> so let's set it up here. Got the left hand grip, right hand. Got a left hand, got a left cookie cocktail, right now. Okay, he's going to pop in. He's going to go ahead and spin under me. 
Now see when he finished? He drove all the way through, didn't he? He didn't curl up down. He wanted to finish on top of his opponent. Because he could go right into Osekomi. You know, I mean, he's stuck. That's a natural, <laughs> get the arm off too, but it's a natural tendency after you throw him, landing on him. In, in this particular case, that's your insurance policy, guys. You know, if the referee doesn't call a pawn for that, okay, then pin him. That's. Throw to pin, pin to win. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Now see this? Okay, now good, 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 good. I want you to start, I want you to fool. Okay. Now, here it is here. Now if he should beat you and get the inside grip, all is not lost. So if it, yeah, if you should have, it doesn't matter really. It's your preference. But what you want to do is have this short anchor hand here, the short grip here. This really controls the shoulder. Now you can do a knee drop sayonagi, but if you grab the sleeve, there's a lot of space he has to make up there. If he grabs closer to the shoulder when he starts, there's a lot less space he has to make up when he actually comes in and screws under his opponent. That's why this really works well. Okay, if you, you, you close the space quick, you're underneath him, and you roll over your body really hard, okay? Now when he does this, he's gonna go ahead and pop in. See that deep? Knees to the left, butt to the right. Look how tight he is here, okay? Now, he just goes and finishes it. Bam, there you go. Also, when you drop on your knees, don't have, you don't want your knees you don't want your toes like this. You want to be off your toes, and that's what Derek was doing. You want to be driving off your toes so you can drive into it and really finish the finish it with a you know nice microcomia. I'm going to pull into it one more time. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> All right, get done. Yeah, get left it. Bam. Okay, and again, finish. Guys, this doesn't have to be your bread and butter. You know, if you're a Uchimata guy, or a Goshi guy, or whatever, I always thought knee drops say nagi. One, a lot of us liked it. I, I liked it a lot. A lot of us in our club liked it a lot as our main throw. But this is the kind of throw that's like a, a change-up throw. You know, it's like a baseball change-up pitch. You know, a guy's a fastball pitcher, and every so often he throws a curve. Well, this is the curve ball right here. And you can really clock a guy, especially if you're holding that left grip. And he thinks you're a lefty, all of a sudden it's a righty. That does, it's a change-up move. So this, tactically, it's a really good technique for judo sambo any type of sport. We're using the, the grappling of the, the uh, jackets and the belts. Okay? Let's give that a try. Play with it. Have fun with it.